it going guys and welcome to the channel now today it's nothing exciting really well i suppose it is exciting uh, the car is booked in for remapping so uh, next week guys it's going in for mapping finally getting rid of this horrible map that's on it and actually be able to use the car and have some, actually have some power fingers crossed now before i take the mapping at um, wayside performance i've got a few little things i need to change on the car that i'm not quite happy about so I'm going to swap them out today and do a little, do a little fit, few little bits if you like. And I, I, as always, I'll bring you along for the journey of everything I do to the car, no matter how small it is. Um, so yeah, obviously mapping next week. Um, I've already paid for a Turbo Smart uh, actuator for them to fit. So it's going to get mapping and an actuator. So hopefully it should be. I'm not, I'm not going to say what power I, I reckon. I'm not saying the day what I reckon it's going to make. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. It can make anything. It can't be any worse than it is at the moment, can it, guys? So I'm going to crack on that with the, uh, the stuff under the bonnet now, do a few little bits, and I'll bring you guys along for the journey. So let's go. Right then, first on the list. Um, since fitting the intercooler and stuff, um, occasionally the car's cut out at idle. So I've, I've pulled up at a junction or something, and the car's just cut out. Um, it's holding boost completely fine. So it, it let, leads me to believe, and I've also spoke to Chris at Wales all about it, it's a vacuum leak. So now what I've done, any vacuum I could really think of it being is, is this one here. So I've bought some throttle body gaskets from Neverlock Performance. So I'm going to fit them today, change them. Just, like I said, it doesn't do it all the time. So I can't really say oh, if it's fixed it or not. I won't know until, obviously, if I, they put it on a smoke test or something. But I'm going to change it out anyway, just for the peace of mind. Like, it, it was only like six quid, so it's worth changing. Also, I've got... A black hose so thank you to Imperial Performance for sending me this out so I can actually fit a black hose now so I'm gonna chuck that on and then we'll move on to the next thing right, the first thing I'm gonna do obviously I'm gonna crack this off take this hose off first so I can get to the uh, top part a bit easier so I'm gonna do this I'm quite happy they won't be too stuck so not been on very long so take that off as well I'll crack it off I hope it won't be that much of a nightmare to pull off but you never know with these pops, do you really? So, oh, right, that's what that's off. Uh, come on. Get the other on there. Ow. Move this off a little bit. Right, that's off. Okay, so what I need now. Is an Allen key, that is um, top one. I don't know if I mentioned it in my video, the Allen key um, nuts, so they're a bit of a. Well, helps if you get the right size, doesn't it? That one, yeah. Right. I'm going to crack this off now, guys, and then I'll come back to you. Top hat's off. Um, as you can see, these are the gaskets here. Look at them. They don't look the best, to be honest with you. They don't look amazing. So it's definitely worth changing them out, I think, just for peace of mind. As you see, like, I don't think you can really see, there's sort of like a bit of a more of a gap there than there is over here. So I'm going to change these out. Now there's one on both sides of the throttle body. It shouldn't take me five minutes just to do that. And then obviously we'll move on to the next job. Right then, as you can see, we're all back together. I've got the black hose on now, put this back on. The gaskets, the old gaskets are somewhere that I don't know where they are. Yeah, so I've changed them both. You know, shout out to Nevlock for supplying them so quickly and for so cheap. So yeah, I think it looks loads better with just the black hoses now. Well, that red one standing out like a sore form. So next next one is, it's going to be the Lamba sensor. Now I've noticed the one that's on it, it isn't a genuine one, it's some sort of Chinesium spurious sort of one. So obviously this is Lamba is the one that controls, you know, it's the main thing for mapping. Like that's what that's the one you really need. So I, I don't want to take any sort of risk of um, it giving me issues on the day of mapping, like because it's, it's not a genuine one or anything like that. So I've, I brought a genuine Bosch one. Uh, Part number on there, I assume. So, if you guys want one, so I'm going to change this out now. I've got a, a Lamba socket to take it out, so hopefully, I can get it out easy enough with that. Fingers crossed. So, I'm going to crack that off now, and then let's put, we'll put them next to each other to have a look, compare them. The old Lamba is out, which is obviously this one. As you can see, they're, they're completely different on the end. Um, but this is definitely for my car, it's definitely the right part number and stuff. So, it's just um, you can just see the difference if you put them next to each other. How, Poor, like this little tiny skinny thing is compared to like a big fat one there. So yeah, again you can start receiving the sleeving's different. You got decent sleeving all the way up, up to there. Whereas this, it's got you got wires exposed and stuff like that. I'm surprised I've not had issues with it already, to be honest with you. But at least now I'm, I'm, I know now I'm gonna have a genuine proper one in there now. So I'm gonna put that back in. 
this was proper tight. It was, it was really difficult to get out. I'm glad I had the socket. So if you do want to do your Lamba sensor goals, I highly advise you to go to Halford to buy a, a Lamba socket, a Lamba socket type remover thing, because getting into a spanner, it, it just it would have killed my arm off. So at least I could get with a socket, you can get like a ratchet on an extension and get some leverage on it to crack it off. So right, I'm gonna crack, put this new one in now, and then that job will be done. Right then, the next job, it's not really needed for mapping, but I've bought a cam belt cover off Nevlock, a gloss black one. So I'm gonna take this off, it's literally just a couple of couple of bolts either side, little Torx bits, take them off. This should just then pull out, in theory, and then I can fit my new shiny one. So I'm gonna crack that off now. I'll put it next to my new one, so you guys can have a look at it as well. Right, and I've got the old cam cover off. Uh, well, cam belt top, top half, so this is the, um, the old one I took off. Turns out there was only one bolt holding it and one bolt was missing, but I've managed to find one. So I think that so they're basically both the same. So I can put two back in. And obviously this is the new one. I mean look at the shine. You see the camera and everything like it, and it just needs a bit of a walk, so I just pull this like clear stuff off it because that's what they use it pr to protect it. Again, these are £20 from Neverlock. I'm not too many have I'm not too sure how many they're gonna have left at the time of this video. So if you do want one, make sure you message them quickly. They're on Facebook. I will leave a link to their Facebook page in my description as well as all the bits I've used today. So I'm gonna, this is the old one, new one, I mean that looks so much better. So I'm gonna put this on now and then I'll update you when it's on the car. Right then, that's back in. Um, as you can see, I think it just look, looks loads better. Obviously, I know it's only a small change, obviously it's got nothing to do with mapping and stuff like that. But it's, I just think it's just a little, little detail like that makes all the difference in my opinion. Obviously with the black hose now, my engine bow is really coming along. Um, so. <laughs> I'm quite happy with how the car's doing at the moment and all the bits I'm getting for it. So, right, we've got one more job left to do and I can't do it here because I'm gonna need a grinder. So, <laughs> that might not make sense, but bear with me, you'll know what I mean. Right, now as you guys can see, um, see that's, the grill goes all the way through here, but there's just like, it's just sort of sealed plastic thing. I mean, you could take your time or drill them all out, but I'm not doing that. So I'm gonna do is take the grill off, I'm gonna grind the back of it off. So you basically get a nice grill then, because obviously it's full mouth then, so all the air will go in on these edge bits as well, if that makes sense. Right then, unfortunately, my, my battery on my camera died. I didn't realize I hadn't charged it, so, but, but I did grit, drill out, or, well, say drill, I gr grinded off the back of this plastic thing, like, like that, that plate that's on the back of it. Same on both sides. It's not the neatest job in the world when you look at the back, but you ain't gonna be able to see that anyway. It just looks, it's obviously gonna provide airflow now all the way along the entire grill, rather than just sort of the middle bit. So the, the intercooler's gonna be getting cold, cold air all the way along. So if, if you've got an Astro VXR yourself, and this is something you wanna do, it's, it, it's free, all you need is a grinder, just and a bit of time. Just as, it, it, it does take a bit of a while to grind up because obviously the plastic melts because it's soft plastic. And it's a bit, just, it's a bit you, if you ever do it, you know what I mean. But yeah, that's all done. So that's a, another job out of the way. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting my car mapped, I really am. Um, I'm wondering if you've made it this far into the video. Um, so, get your comments down. I'd like to see some guesses of what power you think the car is going to make. I'm, I'm really curious to see what you guys think it'll do. Mods are turbo back exhaust, air filter, front mate intercooler, top hat, and it'll have a turbo smart actuator on it as well. So, you let me know, guys. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.